Hi guys. Okay. Hi everybody. Hi everybody at Manhattan New School. Uh, my son Caden and I today, we all hope you are safe. We hope you are quarantined and we are just gonna do something for you um, that we love to do and that is to cook together. Today we are going to be making something delicious. What are we making, Kaden? Um, making a layer of banana Nutella crepes. So we're going to be making homemade banana Nutella crepes from scratch um, wow. that we are going to be preparing for you. It's easy. It's fun to do with your children. Uh, parents, just make sure you are completely supervising your kids because you're going to be needing a pan like this, which gets uh, rather hot. So what we did already today is we made for, we prepared everything. We have our mise en place here. Mise en place means what, Kaden? Put in place. Put in place. Put in place. Put in place. So what you, when you, ingredients? yeah, in a minute. So when you have your mise en place, you want to make sure everybody that everything is already pre-measured when you're baking, when you are cooking like we are doing today. By just taking the ingredients and putting them in the pan or in the blender or whatever you're doing makes it um, a little bit unnecessary step. So having everything organized beforehand, your mise en place, which I will show you just like this, uh, makes your cooking a lot, e a lot easier. So your crepe mixture consists of Milk, water, flour, vanilla, milk, I mean, oh, oh. water, milk, flour, vanilla, butter, sugar, no, 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 that works. Eggs. So it's two eggs. Wait, 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 Nutella, bananas, and yes. So it's two eggs, one cup of milk, a half a cup of water, one cup of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of melted butter, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And you should write this down while I'm saying it. A half a banana and as much Nutella as you like. Yum, yum. All right, so we're gonna be using today, we're putting everything in our blender. Yeah. So everything goes in here except for Nutella. The bananas and the Nutella, right? So what's going in, Kate? And you can explain. Milk. Milk is going in. Water. Put in the water. Eggs. The two eggs go in. Is it the yolk? Yep, hold it. Cool. Sugar. The two tablespoons of sugar. Butter. The three tablespoons of melted butter. Vanilla goes in next, and then lastly, I'm going to carefully pour in. Just pour I just spilled some. So I'm going to put in here carefully the all purpose flour. Now, if you want to make this healthier, you can use whole wheat, but even though I teach a healthy cooking class at school, we're not cooking too healthy today. But everything in moderation. But we are using bananas, which are healthy. Very good, that's correct. And Nutella is the unhealthiest. All right, so now I'm going to move Kate in a little bit closer on the chair. Whee! <laughs> and we're going to put this mixture in for about five to seven seconds, not more than that, because if you do that, that flour is going to turn to gluten. And since we are not making pizza dough and we're making crepes, we want it to be nice and liquidy. So and some people in our school are allergic to gluten and we'll, and we'll need an EpiPen. And then you don't always have the EpiPens at your house. All right, so hit that for a couple of seconds. Okay, fantastic. Wait, flour turns into gold? Okay, so what we have here is our mixture. And I'm going to take it, open it up, and... Wait, do you want me to... Do nope, I'm just going to pour the mixture here into a bowl. Now, what you can do is you can spoon it in with a ladle or whatever, but for measurement sakes, we're gonna be using about a quarter, about a quarter cup. 
So before we do this, I'm going to get my butter. Can and now, on? what's that? Close it on. No, I'm going to do it because it gets really, really hot now. So we're going to take our camera. See how Kaden and I are in matching outfits? All right, say goodbye. Thank we're going to take the camera and point it straight down. We have to we have to put the butter on the pan so that it doesn't stick. And if it sticks, then the Nutella is going to stick. All right, so I'm just taking the butter, and on medium heat, the pan should be just getting it lubed up a little bit. And then I'm going to, while the butter gets a little warmer, I'm going to get the crepe batter, put it in my quarter cup, and let's pour it right into the pan here. And you have to do it quick because crepe, crepes, they cook very fast. You kind of want to do it a little quick. All right, so I'm taking here my high heat spatula, and we're going to just take the pan, and we're just going to move it around a little bit like this. This way the crepes can Fill form. That hole. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to let it cook for a little bit. You can move it around. And what I have ready on the side here, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Nutella and, and the bananas. bananas. This way we don't have to go look for it. So Can I if, you, if you could see, not yet. Leave it, Kitty. No, no, leave it. So <clears throat> if you know, if you could see here, I'm letting the crepes are getting a little bit firmer in the pan. I'm moving it around a little bit. Now what you can do, some places they have those really long spat, uh, really long spatulas where they go underneath it and you flip it over. Not necessary. All you got to do, since the butter has lubed up the pan like so, I can just take it and I can flip it. All right, so now once you flip it like I just did, you're going to get everything into your pan right on top of the crepes like so. You can put those right on for me, Kaden. Just be careful because it's hot. Thank you. So that yeah. goes more in the middle like that. Then I'm going to take the Nutella. Oh, forgot some bananas. You, that's enough. We have enough in there. No, <laughs> All right. So, okay. so we're going to take a little bit of Nutella. Now, if you had a squirt bottle, which I don't have, Kaden and, and I are in Florida writing this out. Um, I'm not in my kitchen at home or the kitchen at my restaurant, which are both gas. I'm using this little electric burner here. So now that the crepe is just about ready to is about ready to form, I could fold it over completely, or we could make it look nicer. I prefer the nicer route where I flip it over a little like this, and then I take my other one as well. And if you notice, you have here just an absolutely beautiful crepe. So then I've got my plate ready like this. And Voila. I'm going to go like this. But before you eat this, you need even a little bit more sugar, which my son can put on. I'm just going to put some powdered sugar on for you. Shake it. Mm. Go crazy. And there you go. Awesome. Let's put it on the side, too, so it looks even nicer. Voila. Mm, yum, yum. Okay, there you have it, folks. Cooking at home with Michael and Kaden. Homemade Nutella banana crepes for you to enjoy. We're going to try to get make a bunch of cooking videos for you. Um, we know you're cooped up at home with mom, with your parents. So we'll get try to get you a lot of fun and delicious and healthy things for you to make. Bye-bye.